This bitch. Uh, something wrong, Lila? Oh, no, I'm doing great. It's just that my mom wants me to go with her to this fancy embassy function tonight, but I've got way too much homework and I'm so behind after being away for the first term. I'm just going to have to tell her no. She'll be so upset. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Oh, yeah, bummer. Adrian said he'd help me, but I don't want to bother him with it. He's probably forgotten anyway. He might think I've got a crush on him, just like all those other girls who are constantly hanging all over him. I'm sorry, Adrian, but you know your father. Excuse he does me, ma'am, but is there any way I could ask him directly, just in case? Mr. Agrest is busy designing and must not be disturbed for any reason. I told you so. Oh, Adrian, I so are constantly hanging all over him. I wanted to help you make up all the schoolwork you must do to all the modeling you've been doing lately. Uh, what will your father think if he finds out about your lower grades, Adrian? Who will he blame? Adrian, have your grades gone down? He'd never tell you himself, but when I saw Adrian crying the other day because he only got an A minus, I just felt like I had to offer him my help. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I was perfectly capable of defending myself. Shut the fuck up. Besides, that ugly horned girl doesn't stand a chance with Adrian. <laughs> Shut the hell up! Damn! You're the only one who can help me, please protect me! Dad and I can protect you down at the precinct. Admittedly, there's not much I can do about your forehead problem, though. What forehead problem? <gasps> what is this disgusting thing? What kind of a message is this? <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker! No way! Adrian, Adrian, Adrian! All the girls are fighting over him. No one's fighting over me. Yet I'm so much more sophisticated, funnier, and definitely better dressed than him. Harriet! Dare you compare yourself to Adrian? You cursed cat! Adrian is perfection personified. He's the only. <laughs> yes, my lady. It's the girl of my dreams. Sure. <laughs> Blowing. My blowing. Like. Found it. I'll take her back home. Tell me of familiar faces. Keep an eye on Lila. She's a slice of fox. Oh, Cosmo, I got issues. I was with some Barbie dolls, thinking the stars. I said we looking for some. I don't have Adrian under surveillance anymore. I trust Amalia. Adrian could never love a girl like Lila, not in a million years. Can I fucking Sorry, I've got fencing. Besides, I think you're already light years ahead of me when it comes to calculus. Actually, I have memory loss after all this traveling I've done. I need to learn everything again from scratch. <laughs> Natalie and my bodyguard got reprimanded last time because of you. I'm sorry, Adrian. Please, I didn't mean to. Lila, you can always count on me, but not if you hurt the people I love. Harriet! <laughs>